Hey there, I'm Aaron with Arctic Campers. And in this video, we're gonna show you the setup and takedown of the Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning, which comes standard with all of our trailers. So when we start at the back here, this is where the zipper will be opening up. We can go ahead and open up this vinyl bag. And what you'll see is there is actually three straps holding up the awning. So you can go ahead and undo those three straps and the material will actually just fall down along with, you're gonna see a bunch of rope as well. And there it is. So if you can flip over the bag, you're gonna to wanna to actually flip over the rear of the bag as well. It actually wants to, tends to catch on the corner here. So it won't let you wanna open this up. So we can open this up and there's two sections. There's a rearward section and a frontward section. We're gonna actually pull open the frontward section from underneath here. We're gonna see a rope attached here. Let that come from underneath that main section of fabric. And we're gonna walk this around to the front of the trailer. So at the front here in this corner, you're gonna see a D-ring that we've mounted to the trailer. This is your anchor point for the front of the awning. There's actually a, a D-ring at the back as well, which we'll get into. With, in our particular case, we actually supply this ratchet rope. As standard with the, the awning is just a rope, but we swap it out for this ratchet rope. So that just makes setup a lot quicker and a lot simpler. Um, a little tip is actually to make sure that the toggle on the ratchet rope and the, the little swinging toggle on the carabiner uh, faces outwards. It just makes your takedown later on a lot simpler. So go ahead and connect that. And then all you have to do is just pull on this rope to make it tight. On to the rear. So now you should be able to just grab this rope, walk it around. And what we've done Instead of this anchor point on the, the lower portion of the wall here, there's actually uh, a second one above the awning enclosure in a horizontal position. So you're going to pass through the carabiner through that D-ring up here. Let that come down through the bottom. It gives it like a little positioning or anchoring point for the rope. And again, a lot simpler to do the toggle of the carabiner facing outwards, hook it up. And then you can just go ahead and push on the top of the awning to make it tight and pull your ratchet rope. There you go. You can wrap it around the shower or whatever you'd like to do there. So there, the awning is now all set up and done. However, uh, while the awning will stay up like this, uh, our recommendation along with Overland Vehicle Systems recommendation is to deploy the support legs. It will stay like this and we do have some very robust uh, bracketry up there uh, mounting the awning. However, winds can pick up and they can do a lot of damage. So it's just best to avoid all of that by just letting the legs come down. So in this case, you'll see there's three legs already attached with the awning. that are strapped up by Velcro. So we can bring those down. Do the Velcro back up. And they're just telescoping legs. You can bring them down and just apply a little bit of tension on there so that they're, they're supported by the legs and do the other two. You're, you'll see that in, in the, our example right now, we have these guy lines tied up. I choose to leave these connected. Uh, it just makes the stability of the awning that much more when you got winds. So while the poles are supporting vertically, the guy lines are pulling downwards. So if you wanted to attach those later on, they are provided along with stakes um, right here uh, with your awning and your trailer. And you can just bring these down at a, like a 10 degree uh, angle, something like that, stake them into the ground, tighten back up the pole, make it nice and straight and you're set. If you're foreseeing any kind of rain or anything like that, you can drop the poles, tighten the guy line so it brings the awning tilted down slightly so that the water can make its way off. But um, those are just small little things you're gonna learn as you go along with your trailer. So. There you go. That's the setup of the Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning. And now to put away the Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning. In our particular case, we had the guy line staked in. We had a bit of winds throughout the day. Uh, so we did that for a, a little more stability uh, for the awning. Um, so in our case, we're just gonna undo the stakes. If you decide to leave these guy lines or attach these guy lines, you can just leave it attached to the tab up top here. It makes it a lot simpler for setups in the future. Go ahead and collapse the telescoping pole, wrap the rope around it, and you're gonna see above me, there are two straps that are around the awning arm. 
It's the inside one we're going to attach the pole to, not the outside one. And the reason is, is this one just provides a little bit more uh, fabric or Velcro. It actually won't fit inside that one. So let's go ahead and complete the other two legs and the guy lines. All right, so now that those are up and out of the way, what we're going to want to do is go around to the front of the trailer and we're going to release the uh, ratchet rope or carabiner from the mounting point at the front of the trailer. So as you'll see up here, uh, we provide an anchor point for the uh, ratchet rope uh, for the awning. Uh, typically with this awning that comes actually with a paracord or a rope, but we actually install these ratchet ropes, so it makes up the setup a lot easier, as you uh, uh, were explained in the first video. So what we're going to do is just release the tab right here uh, while applying tension on the, uh, the tightened rope here. So we're going to pull this towards, release the tab, and let out some slack. Once that's done, we can just undo the carabiner. You know, you can tighten up a little bit. And we're going to walk this around now to the center of the trailer. <clears throat> nice little tip, just to make your life easier putting it away. I like the carabiner, uh, put the two carabiners together here so that we have a lot less slack to deal with. Uh, when we're wrapping up the, the awning fabric up into the into its case. So the reason we start from the front is that it just makes it a lot easier to uh, bring this around. We actually want to bring the front awning arms up underneath the center portion of the fabric versus on top like this. So we're actually going to try and um, flip it over and walk the front arms underneath and start getting that going. It doesn't necessarily have to go all the way, but right there is about a good position so that we can release the carabiner at the back. So same idea here, we're going to uh, apply a little bit of tension on this arm so that it's a lot easier to undo the, uh, the little clip here on the ratchet rope. And then undo the carabiner. So we're going to walk this around, and while you're coming around, just make sure that those front arms have now been pinched in fully, um, otherwise they're going to kind of bind on each other. And at the same time, there's a couple of combination of steps you want to do to make your life easy. One is to undo the straps that are, that are hanging down underneath the awning, the three of them, um, as well as coming up, up to the front here, putting a stool in front and actually folding or flipping over the, the vinyl bag over the top. It kind of also just holds it up here in the corner. Bring that over. Um, not that we're zipping it tight right away, but... Um, it makes your life easier. I think that's what we're all about here, making our life easy. Uh, and then next is reaching over top. So there's a couple of receiving straps, ends of the straps up top here with the D-clips on them. Before you cinch that tight, you want to pull those out and flip them over the top. Otherwise, if you go to strap that down or pinch that down, those are going to stay stuck in there and you're not going to get them out. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring those out and make them accessible. There we go. So we got the three done. And now what you're going to see is the fabric has sort of formed this W shape. And you're not going to want to fold the fabric up towards the center. You're always going to want to fold it up to the outside. And then the same with this one to the outside. That's so you have a uniform amount of fabric or material in the center for the strap so that you can actually zip the bag up a lot easier. So let's start on the right side. We're going to want to fold this up. Stick your rope up in there, grab your strap. And this is the fun part. Making that available. The last one's actually the easiest. There's the least amount of material back there. And these ropes tend to always want to pop out, which makes it exciting, but you can just 
tuck them up in there. And you're going to want to keep your zipper at the back corner so that while you're driving and towing the, t the trailer, that you don't have water or wind making its way in between the zipper and filling up the bag so it stays at the back here. And there you go. It's all put away. So there it is. If you have any questions about the Overland Vehicle Systems 20, 270 degree awning, feel free to reach out to us at our admin at arctocampers.com. You can always check us out on social media at Arctocampers on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.